Today we are watching Guy Ritchie's Rock and Rolla, which if you just got into the stream, you might not have heard me say that it's my favorite Guy Ritchie film. And Guy Ritchie is a director that I adore. I love so many of his films. But Rock and Rolla is more or less my villain origin story because I have been waiting <laughs> for years for people to come to their senses and to give Guy Ritchie's Rock and Rolla the flowers that it deserves so it can achieve more of a cult status and maybe finally get commissioned for the sequel that it deserves. Ready? Three, two, one, play. Oh God, right from the beginning, Black Strobe. This song is a bop. I get so hyped to this song. Black Strobes, I'm a man. I play this all the time. What's a rock and roller? Oh, by the way, if anyone wants some trivia, unsolicited trivia, one of the producers on Rock and Rolla is Robert Downey Jr.'s wife, Susan Downey. Not that that's her defining. I'm just saying if you're going, oh, Downey, is that like Robert Downey Jr.? Yes, it is. And that was how Guy Ritchie met Robert Downey Jr. and then decided that he wanted him to be his Sherlock for the live action Sherlock Holmes films that he did. 2009, 2011. Yeah, I know a lot of Guy Ritchie trivia. Maybe not a lot, but more than the average bear. <laughs> that is not correct. Because according to the encyclopedia of- Because a real rock and roller wants the fucking law. Yeah, he does. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I'm a man. This right here, this is the birth of me standing Toby Kebbell. I don't have a lot of privilege in life, but I do have the privilege of being able to say that I have told Toby Kebbell to his face that Johnny Quaid is one of the greatest fictional characters of all time. Oh my God, there he is. I love him so much. I love this animated opening. I love this cast. Truly iconic, legendary. My name's Archie, formerly known as Archibald. Mark Strong! Oh God, I love Mark Strong. That was another thing. I met Mark Strong at a signing for Shazam and I straight up told him to his face that rock and roll is amazing. He was amazing in it. We need a sequel. Yeah, it was a whole thing. I basically word vomited because those signings, they like to rush you. I need to stop talking because you all need to hear what's happening. Two years ago, this property cost one million pounds. Today, it cost five million. How did this happen? I didn't go to school for math. You need to see a lawyer. We do need to see a lawyer. Yes, Mark Strong is in this, Tom Hardy's in this, Jared Butler's in this, Idris Elba is in this. Ludacris is in this. I mean, he's a smaller character, but. These are the plans. It'll cost 10 and it'll be worth 20 with planning. But first you've got to give the counselor a drink. Okay, so for those of you who uh, have not seen this before and you need a little bit of a TLDR, it's a film about people in organized crime in London and they're involved in a real estate scam. I've seen this several times. I know exactly what's going on. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. No one gave me a leg up. They need a little bit of fear, otherwise they'll come up against me. Oh, see that line right there? That line's important, where he rules by fear. Do you remember who else rules by fear? We just talked about this last week. When people fear you, I mean really fear you, it is the most intoxicating sensation a man can possess. In King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, so clearly there's a very particular type of bad guy that Guy likes to make the central villain. That picture has brought me nothing but luck, Lenny. It's my lucky picture. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so this painting is important. There's kind of a little bit to juggle with this. So Lenny Cole, he has scammed and finessed a situation so that now Gerard Butler and Idris Elba owe him money. You gotta watch yourself with this lot. I mean, they, they, times are changing. They ain't no respecters of the old school. God, I love Mark Strong. I love him so much. Mark Strong makes every film he's in better simply by being in it. That's a scientific fact. A 30 year old accountant married a homosexual lawyer. So that's her husband. And she wasn't saying that to insult him. He actually is gay. So just remember that. This hot little house of crime is home to a particularly nefarious group of individuals known locally as the Wild Bunch. Tom Hardy! Oh, just what I've been waiting for. There's no way you're going to get a five. Do you understand, Bob? I got nothing on you, sir. Oh my God, wait! Remember him? He was in King Arthur. I, I forgot. Wow. Anything that you do to me will be repaid ten times. In kind. He looks exactly the same. Troubled rock star, 
Johnny Quid is missing, presumed dead yesterday. But he's not dead. That's not a spoiler because you saw him in the opening credits. Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Oi, Jackie! You fancy a run around with a counselor? I know if he's wicked. God, this guy's got no game. This guy's got no game. But is that not the dream of all of us? To have Mark Strong be your wingman? I want Mark Strong to be my wingman. Think about who he could introduce me to. You can't touch me. You can't play with me. You can't do anything to me. Oh, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's challenge. Okay, note yeah. the pan up, the very slow pan up. And, uh, I'll put it Where's the, the painting? Where are we? Archie, I've been... <gasps> <laughs> Archie, slap him, send him to school because I can't take no more of this. Oh, I love this scene. No, 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 no. Come on, do it properly with the back of the right hand. <laughs> what is this, a tennis match, Arch? Slap him. So if I need to slap you silly around the face a few times to get those moves out of you, best believe I will. <laughs> yeah, show him how it's done. Like this. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> yeah! Now, if you can master a slap like that, no need for strong violence, no, no. They're transported back to their childhood. I like what this says about his character though. See, he's efficient. Why do more when you can get the same results by doing less? He's a man who is smart and experienced in his line of work. Now, now boys, do as you're told. Put the bags in the car, walk away and keep smiling. A robbery with a smile, because there's no need to be rude when <laughs> stealing someone's automobile. Now fuck off. <laughs> God, this soundtrack is so good. I love this song. No, I've not seen any of these. Glorious picture. Yes. Well, this is in fact the best time of the year to see them in their oh. full glory, sir. It's exquisite. Oh, God. My Hugh Grant. Oh, wait a minute. That's like foreshadowing. Wait a minute, because Hugh Grant ended up in so many Guy Ritchie films. Wait just a minute. Oh, and you have a new code name. A code name? Yes, yeah, rather a good one. Uncle. What you need is a sequel. Oh shit. Here we go again. Wow. 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 For years, there's been a well hidden informer that sent us all down at one point or another. Oh, Tom Hardy. God, he's so pretty. Did all of you see that quote floating around on Twitter about how Tom Hardy read comments and they made him cry when he was cast as Bane? Because people were saying he was too small. Huh? I just want to talk. Who made Tom Hardy cry? Who made Tom Hardy cry? I'm feeling some type of way. And, you know, I'm feeling some type of way. All this man does is mind his own business, serve iconic performances, play with dogs, and be hot. The jealousy, the jealousy, the insecurity jumped out. Pathetic. If you're one of the people that made Tom Hardy cry, you're now on my list of enemies. Okay, gentlemen, let's go. Remember, nothing is here by accident. These junkies are here for a reason. Maybe not right now, but you have to introduce them before they come back around. And now Bob is looking at a five stretch due to this grass. Bob, that's uh, Tom Hardy's character, handsome Bob. He's supposed to be going to prison soon. So just remember that. All right, Fred, Arch, Mumbles, Arch. Hello, Arch. Grow up! Fun fact that nobody asked for, uh, Mark Strong is an Arsenal fan. Uh, none of that means anything to me because I don't follow football, but if you wanted to know, now you know. Come on, Bobby boy. Cheer up. What have I got to cheer up about? I'll be locked up on an 8x10 tomorrow night. I miss Tom Hardy getting to use his real accent in films. <laughs> so Tom Hardy's about to go to prison and Jared Butler wants to take him out for a night on the town the night before he's supposed to go away so he can enjoy himself. You know, one last night of fun. See, I don't want the strippers one too. He doesn't want the strippers. What does he want then? I want you. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. 
Yes. yes. How's that sexual tension this morning? <laughs> Bob, I know all your girlfriends, all of them. I told you, you wouldn't understand. God, I just want to hold him. I love handsome Bob. He's my baby. I love him so much. I am. I'm so sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. No, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm fucking sorry, Bob, all right? Yes, you should be sorry. What exactly is it that you, uh, that you want to do to me then? Hold on, Mary. Johnny Quid. How can a dead man sell you a pint? No, 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 he's not dead. I know he's not dead. He's alive, he's alive. He's alive. You know what I mean, your, your ex's boy, your stepson. He had a set of keys to the house, didn't he? He had a set of keys to the house. So you didn't think to get back the keys when you had the falling out? And if you're a big, scary gangster, wouldn't you have security at your house? All this money, you can't afford a security system for your abode? Really? Are you not embarrassed? There he is! God, I have waited. How long has this movie been playing? God, we're 40 minutes in. It's been 84 years. And we finally get to see the man of the hour. I never did like you, neither did your real dad. You're a reject. The story, if you really, really think about it, once you've seen the entire film, the movie, more than anything, is Johnny's story. Now, next week, you're going back to school. The most expensive fucking school in this country, I might add. Even that tilted camera shot, that's done to put you, the audience, into Johnny's perspective. Just something to think about. But your dad didn't give a shit about you, did he? And that's why you're on the gear. The gear is your surrogate father. Ooh, okay, now you're talking about yourself. You're not even talking about your friend anymore. Come on, Pedro. Pedro? Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me put my sausage roll in your chicken steak bake. Monstrous Ticolatus. You what? Your dad was a tickling monster. Oh, see? He has a propensity for stealing things. I'll do that a lot of years. Do I not look like a pothead? <laughs> Six foot down the bar, go on, jog on. Can I get a wall? Whoa! Whoa. Can I get another wall? Whoa! Whoa. Was that a good old whoopee? Remember that pencil though, if you haven't seen this film. Just remember that he has that pencil. God, when, you, when you've seen this film a million times and you notice how many things like they plant it really early on, and then when you see how they come full circle later. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I tried to stop him, but um, they couldn't be stopped. God, her hair is enormous. Sorry, that's not relevant. <laughs> you know what? I did say that. My bad. Lenny and Archie are there to question Roman and Mickey because they know that Roman and Mickey have worked with Johnny and they, they you know, they gotta, they gotta get that painting back. Uh, can we help you? Yeah, you got an act called the Quid Lickers. We did, yeah. The Quid Lickers? Is that a bona fide offer? That's a bona fide offer. But did you see his body? Swinging from the rafters like a real rock and roller? No, you didn't, did you? Finally, someone who understands movie logic. If you don't see the body, it is not a guarantee that they're dead. I can tell what you're thinking now. Well, there's not much you can't do, is there? Slow down, Tinkerbell. Ooh. Ooh. You'll never sing the same if your teeth ain't your bone. When is the single dropping? Let me tell you, before I even press play, I like the song. I'm in love with the song. We all know how much you love Bob. Remember he was supposed to go away? Guess who? Hmm? Prosecution lost the paperwork, Komofsky. Case is closed. <laughs> That's your boy, come on, be happy for him that he's not going away to prison for five years. If Tom Hardy was ever that happy to see me. Sparks fly. Astafa to mnie, Victor. God, that guy's enormous! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm in danger! To them, you're small time. They could click their fingers with the ether. You speak to me like that again, I'll cut your fucking tongue out. I can't stand this man. But remember what he said earlier about how he likes for people to be afraid of him? That's your boy. I could never in my life speak to Mark Strong that way. You must be with Stella. No, we're the SWAT team. Well, you better get swatting. Oh, we're finally at the party, which means one of my favorite encounters of the entire film is gonna happen. You yeah, wanna have a little dance first? Fred, fancy it? Yeah, go on. 
God, oh, can you imagine Tom Hardy looking at you like that? That you embrace. What happened last night, okay? Between you and I, that's our little secret, okay? All right? What happened last night? What happened last night? Dance. You're a dancer. Hmm. Am I a dancer? Not him wearing a sparkly chain. I'm screaming! So, are you part of the wild bunch? Stella says you're dangerous. I am dangerous. I believe it. I believe it, Idris Elba. I believe it. You in danger, girl. Is your friend part of the wild bunch? Nah. He is the wild bunch. He is the wild bunch? Is he? I would like to see it. I know a secret about your part of town. What's that then, Bertie? You have an informer in your neck of the woods. An informer? So he's offering up this information, but what does he want in return? I am dangerous. I want to meet the wild bunch. Ooh, I do too. Me too. Gee, me, her, she does. Because he knows about an informer in our part of town. Now you were facing a five stretch and I figured you might be interested in it. Ah! <laughs> Literally me, oh God, if I was at a party, and it was someone that looked like Tom Hardy there, but not actually Tom Hardy because he's married. I would do that too. Just, just look over the shoulder like, oh, is that you? If you tell me who this informer is, then we can talk about anything you want. Oh, really? <sighs> Give me a mobile. What? You heard me. Do as you tell Oh! <laughs> he's scarily good at that. Well, I need you some paperwork. That whole encounter, can you imagine trying to keep information to yourself, but Handsome Bob wants you to give up the goods? So I was like, what love? What relationships? What sex? Lenny was so insistent on using violence to get information, and Archie wants to slap people around. And Handsome Bob can just flirt it out of you. That is pretty people privilege. <laughs> I've seen that scene so many times and every time it just does things to me. Leave it, John. I'm happy. I'm all right down here, mate. You see what happened there, right? That's Johnny's friend. And remember the flashback that they showed you of him getting beat up? Well, they didn't show it, but it's implied that he was abused by his stepfather. Fancy some more talent, boy. I'd like to make a complaint. What's your name? So you see what drives him, what motivates him? Remember the pencil? So what do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> so you see what's driving him, right? He's fighting back the way he couldn't fight back when he was a child. So this is when we're really starting to pick up the momentum of the eventual realization that you'll come to, which is that this movie is about Johnny more than it is about anyone else. Look at this, man. It's, it's a damn revolution going on outside. Oh, shit. That's also really funny, though, that those two are looking for Johnny, and Johnny was just outside. <laughs> What's happened between you and Bob, then? <sighs> so what did they do? Was it a slow dance? I love it! Just bros being bros, slow dancing. You and Ahura just framed. Yes, so she's like a, literally like a fucking sister to me. Bob is the best person I know. I love that his name is Handsome Bob as well, because I, I, I don't know if he was called that before they cast Tom Hardy, but if they named him that after they cast Tom Hardy, it feels like something where they would just look at him and go, right, instead of Bob, let's call him Handsome Bob. <laughs> Because it's just so undeniable. God, I cannot believe what Toby put himself through. Because, you know, he's playing a junkie. So I know that he went through a lot to transform himself physically. He was really not eating a lot, not eating well. All things considered, I do like how they've handled Johnny's storyline when it comes to substance abuse in the sense that, like, you fully get the context of why he has developed those problems. Because he's clearly in pain and a lot of that pain is unresolved. There's something wrong with these immigrants, Arch. I don't trust them. I think we're being set up. Ooh, foreshadowing Brexit? Foreshadowing Brexit. I don't like that. 
they're literally wearing pantyhose. Are pantyhose enough to disguise yourself? Where am I? You're behind the couch. How do you know that? Yeah, I'm just saying, if I was in a bind, I would want Handsome Bob to have my back and be my getaway driver. And anything else he's willing to offer. <laughs> See, the Winter Soldier ripped off Guy Ritchie's rock and roller. Sister, sister, more like copy, copy. Abandoned ship! Run for your lives! See, this really scary experience of just like, no matter how much you're fighting, you cannot get away from this dangerous, violent man. That's what it feels like to live life as a woman. Why has no one cosplayed this? Idris Elba wearing a motorbike helmet with cute little fuzzy ears on it. Oh my God, really? All right. You see what I mean? Where everyone in Guy Ritchie films, they're always flirting with each other. Your other personality is trying to draw your attention to the flip side of the discussion. God, I love this speech. I don't even know how much I can play of it though because of copyright, but this whole speech, it's pure poetry. Oh, beauty is a beguiling call to death and I'm addicted to the sweet pitch of its siren. That right there, that line is everything. Where was his Oscar? Where was his Oscar? I want Oscar Isaac to breastfeed me. Well, I'll put around in a jiffy and I'll see you on Monday. Oh, oh, are you serious? I'm Malcolm and this is my uh, friend and colleague, Paul. Remember these junkies from earlier? What did I say? That they were going to come back. They were going to be important. You've scared them off, sing along. They're gone, what else is gone? Pete, where's the painting? Ooh, ooh. Are you guys ready for the wildest sex scene ever? <sighs> 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 Who the fuck is Sydney Shaw? Who the fuck is Sydney Shaw? That's a great question. One that we will, spoiler alert, find the answer to. What's happened then? When I broke my leg in four places, that bastard's made me limp for the rest of my days. Oh, Lenny's going through it. It's what he deserves for being a big old xenophobic, abusive monstrosity. <laughs> Mark Strong is just disgusted and horrified. Look at him. He should have had an Oscar just for that face. Yuri. God, this, this house? Where are they, Belgravia? Hello, Arch. Shrouded and tied, just like the old days. Oh God, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. Still full of hot air, Johnny. Emphasis on hot. Sorry, that was stupid. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. Scary, ain't it? <laughs> Hello, Archie. Hey, Johnny boy, look at you. Look at this thing. Don't you look the part? Oh, this is important. When you see how Archie used to be, look how sweet he was in his little blue, like, dad sweater. So who we got in there then? Anyone I know? Anyone, Anyone famous? famous? What are you, boy? if you're not poison. I hate him. I hate him. Ooh, I'm gonna fight him. I've never fought an old man, but I will do it today. But I love this. I love the way that this is shot and the way that this is edited together where they just have these prolonged close-ups of Johnny and you see just like all this emotional pain and vulnerability that he's constantly hiding under substance abuse, under sassy talking. Stop the bullshit, Johnny. So what's the ace in the hole, Johnny boy? I was gonna tell him a story about you, Daddy. I thought I'd tell him the story about how you grasped him up. All right, this is it, people, let's move, let's go, 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 go. If you wanted to shut me up, it should have been a bit higher. Danny. You're only fucking six feet Danny, away. <laughs> He's still my, he's 
bleeding out and he's still sassing him. Johnny Quid is the champion. Undisputed. Archie! He dresses in my jacket. I wouldn't mess with my Archie, he's in my jacket. Oh! It was rigged. <laughs> Rigor Morris, girl! It was Rigor Morris! Some files, some papers. Remember what they were looking at earlier? You want to know what this says, Lynn? Tie yourself down to whatever chair you're sitting in, because this email is going to be a rough fucking ride. I've seen this name many times over the last 20 years, and I always wondered, who is this Sydney Shaw, Lynn? Ooh! Ooh! Now, where have we heard that name before? They're setting me up, Archie. You are a very dirty bastard, Sydney. I have had it, and I'm so, You know what I have? It. It. The, I've had it, officially! You shouldn't have brought me here, fellas. She's gonna end up as witnesses. Why is Johnny smarter than everyone all the time? He always knows what's going on. See, these two, they were just prepared to be music managers, music producers, business owners, and now they have become murderers. <laughs> Life comes at you fast sometimes. You see how this is nicely setting up an ally ship between Johnny and the Wild Bunch? And of course me, Archie, for long fucking years. You shouldn't have crossed Archie. All these people you crossed, but you crossed Archie? That was your boy. And you did him dirty like that? Mm -mm. Well, it looks like that clinic sorted you right out, Johnny boy. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna get emotional. Look at him! I'm so happy for him, he's sober now. You feeling better? Well I was. Until I saw used twos. Used twos. Grow up! Welcome home. Give us your money, Arch. No, I can do better than that. That was way too cute. And it's just like when he was a little boy. Oi, oi, give us money. Oi, oi, give us that. In the car. Oh, oh sweetheart, your mother. Your poor mother. Goodbye, cruel world. They got the painting back. And we've got Black Strobes, I'm a Man playing again. Just like at the beginning. Because I'm going to be just like you, Uncle. Now. I'm gonna be a real rock and roller. Ah! I'm so emotional. I cannot believe. Where is the sequel? Where is the sequel? See this right here? Johnny Archie and the Wild Bunch will be back in the real rock and roller. It's been 12, 13 years. Where is the sequel? I'm enraged. I am enraged, truly, I am. I'm feeling some type of way and, you know, I'm feeling some type of way. Yeah, the chat's saying they just rob us of Guy Ritchie sequels. They really do. I'm dying for them to do a sequel and I want Handsome Bob to have a boyfriend in the sequel. I need this. I really would love it if it was Riz Ahmed because they didn't get to do nearly enough together in Venom. So I really want to see <laughs> and they were so cute together <laughs> on the promo tour for Venom. Now, maybe we should describe uh, what a chief is by naming people who we think are chiefs. <laughs> and then people want I, okay, one time I, where was I? I think I was at a junket and some reporter had said something to me about how apparently there is a script for the real rock and roller that's been written and it's sort of been floating around, but I guess they couldn't get it, I don't know, funded or or something. I don't know, but if Guy has a script, <laughs> I just want to beg him and be like, please let me read it. I won't tell anyone what's in it. I just want to read it so I can sleep better at night. See you all next week, everyone. We're going to do Dorian Gray. And then the week after that, we're going to do Shadow and Bone. Bye.